What's up guys? Justin here with the renderingessentials.com back with another twin motion tutorial for you. So um I've been waiting to make this video for a while because I've been waiting for um the Megascans folks to update their license information. As many of you know, Quixel Megascans has a great library of materials and also models, and they were purchased last year by Epic Games. And so last year, Epic Games made this library available for free for anyone that's using Unreal Engine. Well now they've updated their licensing information stating that not only can you use the Megascans um, library for free in Unreal Engine, you can also use it in Twin Motion. So because of that, that means that we can sign up and we can download these models and start using them inside of our Twin Motion renders for free. And these are some really high quality models. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so we can start by visiting quixel.com. And then I will link to their licensing information page in the notes down below. And so you can see by checking the licensing information on Quixel's help page that they've updated this so that the unli unlimited Megascans access is licensed for use with Unreal Engine and Twin Motion. That means that we can sign in, get unlimited access to the Megascans library, and download all of this for use in Twin Motion. Um, thanks to Min from Architecture Inspirations for pointing this out. He made a video on this last week, and that's when I came back in and double checked. But now let's talk about how to do this. So you can see how they give you instructions right here saying if we go to quixel.com slash pricing. So if we go to that website, and scroll down, you can see how they have paid versions right here. But if you scroll down here, this says you get unlimited access for Unreal Engine 4. So all you have to do is click this Get Started button, and then you can sign in with your Epic Games account. And so if you don't have an Epic Games account, you can sign up right here. And so when you do this, you should get a message saying that you're set up with unlimited access. Note that you are only licensed for use with Unreal Engine. What this means is this means that you're only licensed to use this um, for Unreal Engine and Twin Motion. Um, if you use another program for this, then in order to be licensed to use these properly, you need to use one of the paid options. But if we click on this button for browse Megascans, what this is going to do is this is going to give us access to the Megascans library. So if you look at this, this is going to have a number of different things in here, all of which we can now download for free. And so if you scroll down, you can see how there's options in here for different surfaces that you can download, different 3D models that you can download, different plants. You can download all of this and use it inside of Unreal Engine. The, re the really exciting thing about this is these are all really high quality assets. So Quixel is known for their high quality access, so the fact they made this available for all of us is pretty amazing. But let's go ahead and let's just download a model and bring it into Twin Motion. So let's go with one of these statues. So I'm just going to click on this statue. You can see how when you do this, there's an option in here for download settings. And so the download settings have a number of different things that you can download in here. What we really want is you can you can download these at any resolution. Note that the higher resolution files are going to be a lot bigger than the smaller resolution files. So I might download this one in 2K and then you can either select whichever material maps that you want. So like your displacement maps and other things like that. Um, you can either select them by checking little boxes here or you can click the drop down and you can go to offline specular. What that's gonna do is that's gonna bring down the maps that you would most often use in a specular setting. And you can see how there's a lot of different LODs in here. These are basically levels of detail. Um, we're not gonna worry too much about these for right now. We're just gonna download the LOD zero. So once we've done all of that, once we've set our download settings, we're going to click the button right here for download. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to extract this file by right clicking on it. And I'm going to click on extract all. So depending on your PC, you may or may not have to download a program in order to do this. Um, I don't have to because my Windows has something built in that allows me to do this. But there are programs that will help you extract files if your computer won't do that. But if we look at this, if we do maybe like a large icons preview or something like that, you can see how you get a preview of the 3D model. That's an image. Then you also get your model files as well as the different material maps that we're going to use. So, and I'm going to go ahead. And so now that we have this extracted, we can open it up inside of Twin Motion. So I'm going to open Twin Motion. And then inside of Twin Motion, we can just click on the button for import and we can go find our file. So we're just going to click on open go find that file that we downloaded 
and we're just going to find the 3D object. In my case, that's the FBX file that I downloaded. So I'm going to double click on it. Um, we're not going to worry too much about this stuff right here. You can click on Fix UV and Texture if you want to. Click on OK. So what that's going to do is that's going to bring this model in. And so notice how when this comes in, it comes in without any of the textures. And so what we need to do is we need to show this where to find the textures for our model. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're just gonna use the material picker and we're just gonna select the material. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on the more button right here and under the texture map, notice how this is currently empty. Well, what we need to do is we need to go find that texture map by clicking on empty and clicking on open. And so when we do this, you can right click on this and view these in large icons if you want to, but what we're looking for is we're looking for this albedo map. The albedo map has the texture information that's going to get placed on this model. So I'm just gonna click on albedo, just like this, and you can see how what this does, and we'll maybe turn our speed down a little bit. You can see how what this does is this takes that material and it applies it to this object. So notice how that texture material comes in here and it's applied and it's actually a really detailed texture material already. And so the other thing we need to do is we need to go in and load in a couple of our other maps. So for example, we can load in a reflection map. So we're gonna click in here, um, we're gonna click on reflection, we're gonna click on this and we're gonna go find that map. So in this situation, we're just gonna load in the gloss map. So we've loaded in our gloss map. We also want to load in our bump map. So you can see how this will apply a bump right here, but the problem is the bumps are in the wrong place because it has the wrong map associated with it. So for some reason, every single model that you bring in gets this crumpled material applied to it and it doesn't really match what's in your model. So we just need to open this up, go back into our folder and load in the normal map. So I'm just gonna double click on this and notice how that normal map really kind of added a level of bumpiness and detail to this model that wasn't otherwise in here. So notice how you can adjust this by adjusting the bump option right here in order to adjust how much this is going to affect the light inside of your model. So you can download any of the models inside of the Megascans library and you can use them in this way in order to add different things to your renderings inside of Twinmotion. And one thing we can talk about a little more in the future is some of the other things that are inside of Twinmotion. One thing I would recommend, depending on what you're trying to create, is you may wanna check out their collections. So they have collections in here that have like models um, put together. So for example, they have like a Wild West collection. Well, the Wild West contains models specifically associated with the Wild West. So things like saddles, things like cactuses, other things like that. So you can find models that are kind of the same or in the same kind of category in here by looking at their collections. Note that you can also download all of these different textures and use them in your models as well. So these, for example, if you look at these, you can see how you can download textures with all of the associated maps as well. And notice that Megascan's um, texture assets are very, very high quality. So you can use these to create really realistic looks. So I would recommend just going onto the Megascan's um, website and just kind of looking around at what they have in here. So they have things like vegetation, like grass and trees and other things like that, um, as well as things like uh, they have an architectural visualization section um, of things specifically designed more for architectural style visualization. So you can use those as well. And I'm thinking we may do another video talking a little bit more about about the materials inside of Megascans. But for now, go check them out and get an idea of what you can download and bring into your models. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you checked out these assets? Have you tried bringing them into Twin Motion yet? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.